Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at the appointment feature in Mobimatic App Builder. So the appointment feature is a really powerful feature that allows clients to book appointments directly from the app. It is very powerful, so it has quite a few settings that we need to look at. So pay close attention. We're going to go to settings. And the first part of settings would be location. So those are the locations where you have shops. The reason we've got more than one location is for in case we have more than one place that we need bookings to be made to. So let's add a location for now. Let's say we have a massage parlor that's got two branches. So we click on plush over there and we add the name of the next branch, Miami. Miami. Florida. There we go. So now we've added two branches. If we look at the branch over here, it's got the available time. So these are the working hours for the branch. These guys are really hard working. They work every single day from uh, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So we can set all the times that the shop is open here. We do not worry about lunch times and stuff like that. That will be set in a different place. This is actually the shop hours. And I'm not going to set all of them because I'm pretty sure you don't want to see that. And then we can also add date breaks. So if the shop will be closed for a certain period of time, so for that week we're going to be closed because everybody's going surfing we can add it right in there now this is all live you can update and edit it as you go along and it will be updated and edited on the apps of all your users all right so now we've got two locations the one in iceland and then the one in miami florida what we need to do next is we need to add services under services we need to add categories first so we've got our default category we want to add another one which is called hot stone massage okay we've added our category so now we've got two categories and now we want to add our services so our first service that we are going to add click on the plus over there will be a 30 minute hot stone massage the price would be 50 bucks the service time so that's how long the booking or the appointment would be for it would obviously be 30 minutes since it's a 30 minute hot stone massage the buffer time that's the amount of time between services so in other words that's the amount of time between the 30 minute hot stone massages that's needed to get the client in and out of the room and all that but since we need to heat the stones up we're just going to do a 30 minute buffer time what category does it fall under it falls under hot stone massage okay so there we go we now have two services the default service and the 30 in it hot stone massage what we need to do next is we need to assign location. So which shops have this service? We click over there and we'll bring up all the locations. So all the places that we loaded as shops. We've got the Iceland one and the Miami one. So this service is available in both in Iceland and in Miami. And there we go now we've defined our services well our service uh, the next thing we need to define is our providers in other words the people that will be rendering these services if there is more than one seeing that we've got two locations we would probably need more than one so the first one is mr john doe and the second one is mr pete just pete We'll give him an email, Pete at massage.com, and we give him a mobile number. 
and we'll give him a description. It is a strapping lad. There we go. And we can give him a profile image, which I don't have right now. So we'll just use a logo. Okay, and Pete has been created as a provider. So let's click OK. Now, if you look at our providers, we've got John Doe and Pete. If you look on the right over here, there's a little thing that says assign services. So now we're going to assign services. In other words, tell the app who does what. So Pete is based in Miami and he does the 30 minute hot stone massage in Miami. Well, the 30 in it hot stone massage in Miami. So let's save that. John Doe, on the other hand, is based in Reykjavik, Iceland, and he will do the default service and the 30 in it hot stone massage in Reykjavik. So let's save that. And we're almost there, guys. So now we've set up the locations, we've set up the categories, we've set up the services, and we've set up the providers. What we need to do now is do the timing. So let's start with Miami, Florida. We said in Miami, Pete works every single day, the whole day from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. You can set this here as every single day could be different, but you know, anyway. So there we go, Pete set up that's his working hours. I'm not going to do all the rest. Once again, you can add date breaks for Pete. Now, how this will work is the date breaks under the location is for when the shop is closed. But if you've got more than one person working in the shop, maybe Pete's not available, but Joseph is or Sarah is. So you can actually add breaks for the service providers. Now, it means Pete's not going to be there tomorrow. We can also set day breaks. In other words, when are they on lunch? Pete will be on lunch from Monday from uh, 1 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. I'm a horrible boss. He works long hours with half an hour lunch. So we can add lunch breaks and tea breaks and other things over here so that the calendar is grayed out and people cannot book appointments for the times when Pete's not available. So let's click save. And there we go. Now we've got our whole appointments calendar set up except for one last thing which is under the options where we can decide who's getting the emails. So we're going to send a confirmation email as soon as a booking has been made. The client will get it, the provider will get it, the store owner, which would be me, will get it. And I can put in my email address, boss at, and uh, that would be my email address. I can decide who gets reminder emails, that will be the client, the provider. And I can also decide the time format. I want to do a 24 hour time, not AM, PM, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I can create a list or a card system for the appointments. We'll just stick to the basics. And I can add cover images for the app, for the booking icon, and for the notification icon. So we're not going to do that either. We're just going to save it. And now let me show you what it looks like on the application. So if you go to the phone over here, we will see that it says book appointment. I can click on it, book an appointment. I can choose a location. I want to go to Miami. It sounds a lot warmer than Iceland. I really want to do the 30 in it hot stone massage. I see it's $50. So hey, well, we'll stick to it. And who do I want to choose? I want to pick Pete, but let me see. Oh, Pete's a strapping lad. Well, I don't know. I would have rather preferred Sarah, but anyway. Now I can uh, also cho choose a time when I want to see Pete. I want to see him on fr Thursday. Not available, not available. Ah, on Tuesday, Pete's available. And those are the hours that he's available. And I want to see him at 8 a.m. in the morning. 
and this is where I fill in my details make a payment and voila I have booked my appointment obviously I can't book it through here because I cannot make a payment so that is the appointments app that's how you will book an appointment or how you will set it up so that people can book appointments through your application there is two other screens that we need to look at under the appointments app there's the calendar one now under the calendar we can pick a location we can pick a provider and we can go load calendar so this is for administration so the boss will sit at the office he can log in and he can see when who's available he can see any booked appointments and from here he can also make any changes to any appointments so if he sees that I've booked an appointment with Steve with Pete at eight o'clock but he doesn't like the fact that Pete works so late or so early he can just click on it and drag it to another time slot he can also use a drop down arrow on there to make changes to the appointment maybe change the the service change the well you can do all kinds of changes you can also cancel the appointment straight from here but this is where the appointments will be managed by the person in charge there's also the appointment screen that just drops down a quick show of all the appointments made in a list format so that the manager can have a look at it and see what is happening. And that, guys, is the appointment app, uh, feature for the Mobimatic App Builder. Really, really powerful stuff. Uh, if you need people to make appointments on your application, this works. Cheers. See you in the next video.